Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> What's up? This is GospelRhythms.com Talk Live Radio on LATalkLive.com. I'm Ro Williams, and sitting to my left is the oh so handsome Rory Devine. Hey, what's happening out there? <laughs> He's sitting in for Trisha Man Grant. Thank and, you, Trish. Uh, for our loyal followers of GospelRhythms.com Talk Live Radio, you may remember that Rory was in the house November 25th, 2012, and he's come back to sit in as a guest host while the lovely Trisha Man Grant is out there uh, doing her thing at her hubby show. Yeah. Uh, but before you get into telling us, because it was um, um, the play that he's doing in honor of Marvin Gaye's life, we have to take a moment to pause and just to thank all our veterans, because this is uh, Memorial Day weekend, and so often, so many of us, especially young people today, all it signifies is barbecues and days off from right. school and that's it you know but people actually lost lives and limbs yes. and mind you know um, in order that we might be free and enjoy the freedom of being on vacation and kicking back at a barbecue you know what I'm saying absolutely and all so right so we just want to honor much. all those who serve to be a veteran absolutely. one must know and determine one's price for freedom and you know not everybody can Go into a job knowing that that job might kill them. I mean, could you, could you, could you get on? To could you take a job? No, that, actually, I could. I mean, I, I have much respect for for our men and women in service. Uh, like I said, we probably wouldn't be able to do the things that we're doing today because of them. Yeah. So I definitely give them uh, all the. Exactly, Thanks exactly, and I, I think recognition, even the government, uh, we could do so much more, and uh, so we love you, vets, um, and uh, we honor you today and every day. But I'm glad that you have a day where it causes us and forces us to just take a moment to do give pay reference and homage to all of your efforts throughout the years. So now, absolutely, on a lighter, fun note, yes. stuff has been going down this week, and you got to tell us about my girl Trisha's hubby. Tony Grant and the play that he's doing. Let me tell you, if you if you haven't or if you didn't see the play, you missed it. What's the uh, play? My, my brother Marvin. Who's that? And, uh, he's a, another a legend that left us too soon. Mr. Marvin Gaye. It's right. the story of Mr. Marvin Gaye told by his sister, Ziola Gaye. And it was so good that I went to see it twice. Wow. And let me tell you, uh, my boy Tony... That boy is bad. That's Tony all I Grant. can say. He can sing with an A. <laughs> oh, boy, no, he can't. And he will be sings. singing. We have, we're having a lunch party in July. You'll be hearing more of that. 25th Save the Date. Yeah, he'll be singing that that yeah. event as well. But, He's but there were some very good performances. Uh, if I, you know, Leah Grant, uh, she was awesome. What um, was your favorite moment? Uh, you know what? Believe it or not, he had a small, he had a small part. But he played it. Like, I wish I could think of his brother's name. I can't think of his name. But he played uh, David Ruffin in, oh, the, yeah. in the play. And uh-huh. he, he was a small one between him and uh, uh, and Leah plays a dual role because she was playing uh, Tammy Terrell and Tina Turner. Wow. And so you that know, was that uh, was good too. Yeah. And so they were. They, he had a he had, he took advantage of his moment. And he was also Ike Turner too. Wow. Well, you know so. what? Next week, uh, Trisha will be in house, so we'll have to do oh, a call okay. back to the to. Oh, actually, no, it's our word edition. She won't be. I stand corrected. Oh, you won't want to miss that edition either. But 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 when we are back in house, I will ask her to to give us the name David Ruffin and all of that. Yeah. So. Yeah. But it was but, excellent. Excellent show. Now, before I go into who was our guest last week, what have you what have you been up to? Because I really appreciate you sitting in because you have two shows after this. So you you are really like popping it just on today. So I, I thank God, too, because um, uh, we've been working. I did. I was uh, blessed enough to do a, a a launch of a television show for a friend of mine. Her, um, Trisha Monique. She has a, a cable show, uh, online show um, called. Um, gosh, I'm embarrassed. I can't think of think of the show. I know. Don't you just say it's brain a, fart? Oh, Sultry, Sultry Live. So I want to give a shout out to her. I, she. She <laughs> interviewed me, and I appreciate it. You know, it's really thankful when people want you. Yeah. So when people want you, they so don't want you because they want to use you. Right, right. And so yeah, I, I got to add that in there. I was honored to be able to do that. And uh, lately, I've been doing a lot of performances locally and things of that nature. I just signed to do another play. So what's I'll be the doing call? What's play. the call? Can you tell? No, I have Come no on. idea. I forgot. I forgot. I, King Cobra. I, I we gonna have to hook you up yet. with a case of that. But that's all right because so, you are very talented. Uh, we did a play you. together. Um, yes. Um, what was it called? Uh, a man that finds a wife. A man that finds a, finds a wife. <laughs> but but, <laughs> no, but, but you know, we go back further than that. You know where we Yeah, you used to babysit me. me. Yeah, yeah. No, Godzilla. No, no <laughs> not that far back. Not that far back. Yeah. We worked on Godzilla, Godzilla. together. 
and and we worked in a, that we was the, the same, dumbest movie but i don't even want to talk about that same i was agency. highly disappointed I was, as a as a diehard <laughs> godzilla, godzilla fan. black yeah, and white too. fan i just don't even want don't even take me there you're gonna mess up my you're gonna mess up my <laughs> holy ghost high but we had so, fun doing what we did though <laughs> yeah we did we, we did we, we were responsible so, for how the movie turned out yeah we were not but wait let's go because we got to get the show rolling okay. we had a great show last week we had an awesome show this week but i have to give love to our guest last week Josanne marie beautiful play hope you got it was a lot of entertainment going on this weekend uh-huh. uh one woman stage play it, i hope you got a chance to check it out at the um the la la what is it la i need glasses you want to use mine it. no i, got some I know right Don't be well shame. the latino theater company put it on i mean mm-hmm. and she's just been this, this vision has just been going and going and going and so it was the latc Oh, okay. <laughs> Come, okay. Yeah. So, um, that was Play in Los track. Angeles, California. So, um, uh, if you are in the California area, I know we're worldwide, but um, you're worldwide. Y'all yeah, this, this global geez. baby. Don't you I'm know how Jesus my, do it? I'm glad I combed my hair. Right? <laughs> so she was in house. So we, you know, she was actually a guest on our show uh, April first, Palm Sunday. So she was just here to to talk about how God has grown a vision, the beautiful. Day, but hear a whole story because it's really awesome. Her testimony. That's April first, Palm Sunday, a 2012 edition. Go to LA talklive.com and uh, check out our history of shows and you'll see her full story there then we have Jacino he came from Vegas to be a guest on our show and our music edition he's a hip hop artist he too was uh, on our show in 2012 he was a guest on our January 22nd edition and it's amazing because both guests stories of where God took them from a dark place mm-hmm. and brought them into such a, a place of light where they are operating in their gifts and their gifts are not only them and 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 uh, they're blessing others so um you want to hear about him and then our featured guest was lynette white oh my goodness she's a caribbean a gym, you know uh, artist and a musician and she was really awesome and so um i asked her to to minister at our uh, uh our uh, launch party on the 25th so lynette white is man she just puts it in and it was really great because her and Josanne marie they they come from the same place so i edition last sunday check it out we also had some um um some surprise guests in-house uh, uh brother steve uh sydney young, sydney young i believe yeah sydney young from tice 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 scott Rec- okay. <laughs> and he came and made a cameo uh he wasn't on the show but we have to give them love because they came by the studios to support so thank you guys in the meantime we have a great show today and i'm so glad you're here I, to just, witness just one more you know? thing before you move on I, I, am i going to get an invite to this launch party you got my party and everything and yeah all of course I'm just, yeah. You, know, I'm just, I'm just, you know it's in development it's only oh, okay. may it's in july you know oh, okay. i'm trying to get know, things done early that. you know you gonna be in the house oh, okay, you cool. are gonna be in the house but uh you know, we're right now at Heaven's Party on our Life Edition. And uh, one of the beautiful things about our Life Edition, it, we celebrate all the great things that God is. It gives us an opportunity to take a moment and celebrate all the great things that God's doing in, in the lives of Christian men and women here on the show. And in studio today, we have two gorgeous women who gorgeous. are entrepreneurs. And, I, you know, you're just being spoiled today because you got women to the left of you, women That's to the right, right. of you. <laughs> Don't hate the play. I hate the game. <laughs> You know, the first lady that I met was Dory Bailey. She came uh, with Nick Kennedy on the uh, Freeze Project show, and it was so cute because we were we were like, okay, well, enough about y'all. Now, what about these clothes? Let's talk about we. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the show's about you. I said we gotta have you back, girl. So this we had her committed like a couple months in advance. So I'm excited to talk about her and to share because her boutique that she has does so many things. But I'm sure there's a journey and a story that she would love to share getting there. You know, being the first of twin born in Long Beach, California, moving out of the state of California to St. Louis and coming back and you know getting her degree in one area that had nothing to do with what she's doing now and then working in another area that has nothing to do with what she's doing now um being mentored by a gentleman by the name of roger clayton who is no longer here who exposed her really? to um yeah I knew, I knew roger yeah yeah he's a promoter and things like yeah that. well he, yeah. he he helped her to the gang girl and it okay. took her under his wing and showed her the ropes of promoting uh shows for the likes of the whispers frankie beverly and Mays, boys to men so yeah. on and so on so she is here to talk about what god oh, has done great. for her for her anointing Head boutique that is a anointed diva boutique i stand corrected anointed diva boutique and then our our other beautiful guest can dance can <laughs> yes dance. i got it can dance is can now dance. can dance simmons and uh, her boutique is all that and more and i actually met her at a networking social media networking event and um 
I had fun shopping in <laughs> in that store as well. So I hope to do some shopping in the. I just hope to do some. We know we need to support small black businesses and Absolutely. large black businesses and whatever color. It is. Um, so please, you know, I'm sh- they're going to share their so- their information because I'm sure they have. If you're, if Africa, you can make purchases. And uh, so with that being said, I'm going to come up for air and we're going to go to commercial. commercial. And when we come back, we're going to hear more about um, Ken Dance and Dory Bailey. Oh, but before I go, I wanted to say that Ken Dance, she is a business owner. She's been over 25 years in corporate America as well, providing customer service management support in the financial industry, which although it didn't have anything directly to do with her boutique, I'm sure that those skills came in very handy with what she's doing now because one of the things that people in the body of Christ, we're always talking about how blessed we are, but we so broke. And one of the things that if you want to walk in the vision of being an entrepreneur or even being a a faithful manager as a homemaker or a faithful manager on the nine to five job that you have, you have to be a good steward over what God has entrusted you. So I'm sure she has some stories. Both ladies will have some stories about that. But she's always loved stylists. And this woman here, she can hook you up. If you two zeros or if you two twenty twos, no matter what size, her store will have something <laughs> fabulous for you. You know, she has uh, comfy, cozy, casual women to the, the edgy, to the to the very dressy. So all right. we are going to hear more about all that and more boutique as well as anointed diva boutique when we come back with gospelrhythms.com. Talk live radio. Keep it right here. Tweet your friends. Text yes. your friends, call your friends, get it in. Later, you can call in if you want to uh, share some love or have a comment or uh, a question for either the ladies or us, 323-247-7443 at the 45-point mark. Make a note of that. We'll see you in two and two. Hey, hey, shout us out. What's the count? I'm your host, Ferran Dozier. I'm inviting you to join me on WDC Radio every Monday at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time as we discuss community topics around health, sports, and entertainment. So don't forget to shout us out. What's the count? On WDC Radio, only on latalklive.com. You can also catch us on iTunes Radio, r and or watch us on Ustream.tv. Reality Radio handcrafted for your listening pleasure. This is LA Talk Live. And we're more than just talk. What's the count? Hi, this is Susan Levin, owner and founder of Speaker Services, inviting you to join me and co host Jean Noel Bassiar on Monday evenings, 5 p.m. Pacific, for our new show, Talk Up Your Business, Speak Your Way to More Profits. We'll be talking to you about how to use your expertise to grow your business or service through speaking. Our expert speakers and author guests will share their stories and success secrets with you. Don't forget to tune in to Talk Up Your Business Mondays at 5 p.m. Pacific. Exclusively on latalklive.com. You can also catch us on iTunes Radio R&B or watch us on Ustream.tv. Reality Radio, handcrafted for your listening pleasure. This is L.A. Talk Live, and we are more than just talk. Turn the kick up. My heart is beating, and it won't stop racing, because I can't stop thinking. If it had not been for you, where would I be? You set me free, what more can you do? You keep blessing me over and over Watching after me day after day Not ashamed 
are back welcome back to gospel rhythms at uh talk live radio and i think we're gonna have our two lovely young You're, ladies who are on. you oh who am i yeah. see i'm new with this i don't do this i'm rory darvell <laughs> sitting in for the lovely trisha man grant thank you so much trisha for allowing me to sit in <laughs> and i'm ro and, williams yes. and if you missed the top of the show this is our life edition and we are here with two awesome women of god who are entrepreneurs and have um boutiques shops in their own right they're here to share their story with us for god's glory to my left we have candan can dance Candance. with all that and more boutique and to my right we have dory bailey with anointed diva boutique so ladies thank you so much thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you applause me now you were just yeah. here not too long ago yeah. so i mean i guess i can start with you thank you for coming back and um your journeys and you could think about this because I would be balling back and forth. You know, um, we didn't get a chance to talk with you because you were just here in support of Nick Kennedy's freeze project. But then it, right. we, it came out that you had this this um, boutique. Um, and one of the new, unique things, and we'll get into how diverse God, how did God give you the diversity of the vision? Because her boutique isn't just a boutique where you come in and um, shop for clothes. Give us a, a bring the, to life what your boutique offers other than shopping for clothing. Well, the boutique is, um, the main feature in the boutique is the um, Fruits of the Spirit t-shirt line, which is my, my Christian t-shirt line. That's where it all originated from. And then we have a women's boutique, which offers regular and plus size clothing as long as, as long as, as well as accessories. And then what makes the boutique unique is we have um, a cafe and a lounge. So it's a Christian cafe and a lounge boutique, and we do things like speak on it every third Friday of the month. Um, you can come hang out. Like when you go to the coffee shop, you can come up. And what out. is speak on it is a poetry night when people come and they express um, their, um, their, their gifts that God has given them in the form of poetry, song or dance. So we don't only, uh, we don't exclude it just for poetry, but we do allow other, other artists to come as well and what nights is that that you do that it's the third friday of okay. each month and what and what's also unique about the um is it's it's an open door for people to come in so discourage anyone from coming it is anointed mm -hmm. but we have we want them to come so we want to present um the word of god in a mellow way so they can keep coming back in one day you know God will convict them and they'll just come on in. So we offer free prayer. We have a prayer wall. Wow. We have an artist of the month wall. Wow. And we just want to help the community. And you're located where? At 801 East Artesia in the lovely city of Long Beach. Wow. And when we come back to you, because we want we want Can Dance to give uh, uh, us a uh, give you guys a uh, take on what her store uh, has to offer as well. But we definitely want to. Um, you to share with us how you how God came about the name of not just uh, Fruits of the Spirit t-shirt line, not that that's a hard set, you know, like, oh, how's hard, but also uh, Anointed Diva. So, Can Dance, yes. your All That and More store. Yes. What makes you so, so you make, well, we know you are special, but we want to know what I know you are. Tell our audience what makes you and your store, why the shopping experience there would be one that they will want to come check out. Sure. My boutique is located right here in the heart of Culver City. And what makes All That and More Boutique is really all in the name. It's All That and More. And we wanted to, when we started, was to create an environment where women could come and have that celebrity experience. So I brought a little bit of Beverly Hills Melrose to Culver City. And the what sets us apart from any department store, clothing store, is that you actually get styled. When people leave out of my location and women leave out, as well as men, they say, I have a stylist because I can style them from head to toe. That's great. Yes. Help. Yes. <laughs> Help. You have a stylist. Here so you don't car. you don't just you don't just walk in and pick clothes off. Somebody actually pulls you. 
Now I've been to your store yes. and you have that back area. Is that where you take them or is it just a walk around? Well, experience? actually, um, clients come in, either they've been referred or they just see the location. And when they come in, what they actually do is, of course, we're greeting them and everything. But they generally, as women, we have a story. So they're transitioning. They're either losing weight, um, transitioning from a bad relationship, marriage, what have you. They're going on a cruise or something of that nature and they need help. So a lot of women are saying, oh I'm this I'm that and I'm like really just be happy with what God has created because he made no mistakes so I take them into the dressing room they become my canvas and I start to paint because that's a gift that God has given me and they leave excited about life excited about where they're going excited about their journey because again it's basically you have to style from the inside out I need to know what's going on with you so where we can paint and Man, I love how you guys are. You, I love how you both have taken it beyond just being a place where you're making money. You know, I mean, God says, you know, your gifts will make room for you, but it's not just to make room for you and your gift. It's room right. for you to basically start, you know, all that he's poured into you for you to pour out through every vehicle that you can you, whether it's, you know, through your, your job, you know, through your friendships and relationships, you know, and I love that y'all are getting it. And I pray that, you know, any aspiring entrepreneur, business owner, boutique owner, they don't just see it as something where they can peddle their wares. You know, QVC, very cold, very like buy this, buy that, buy this. No real connection. Not that I have anything against that. And if you can get your product on there, I'm sure you'll find creative ways to take that experience to the next right. level. Um, now, I, did you I, I saw pictures and I, I can't remember if um, was there a stage area? Did you have set up? Because I remember a brick wall. And yeah, yeah so I was going to I was, I was going to ask they're you. I was like, these. I thought I remember seeing like it. Did you had it set up? where yeah, it was even a these, stage area yeah, I have a stage area that's a part of the um, lounge area so there's a stage area you can make it as a dance floor if you want because it's um, hard it's um, the laminate woods on the floor so it's like a little cozy atmosphere so wow it was a vision so I said let me do it I <laughs> want to ask what this for both of you what in, what inspired you to get started into doing your own business because a lot of people they have reasons that they and clearly your background was yeah. something else other than what you're doing now and it definitely is going to be even to me inspiring because there are so many people out there just saying but I don't have the know-how to knowledge or the connections or the education mm -hmm. so I mean uh, will we start well, with you I lost my mom at an early age. My mom was a registered no nurse, so my passion was to go into the medical field and be j become just like my mother. But God blessed me with an opportunity right out of high school to work for a company, which was a mutual fund company. And he put mentors there for me. And I was there for 25 years without, um, I just had a high school education, was able to um, transition from data entry into an assistant vice president position. Wow. Yes. Wow. Look at God. Yeah. Without right. a high, with just a high, just school, a high school, education. school education. Oh my goodness. I started there the day after graduation from high school. But when the market tanked, they eliminated. This is the housing market or? What? It was a housing market, okay. but it's a mutual fund industry. So when the market tanked, they eliminated 10% of their position. And my mm. pastor was preaching on restoration. And I said, well, if God gave me that, I can't wait to see what he has for me next. And I gave my testimony in church. And um, wait, I just got to stick a pin in that. Yes. You came to a point where that got taken away. Yeah. And your response was, we, we just can't just roll over that. Like that was some that was a moment like Selah. <laughs> yes. You said, if wow, if God gave me that. Right. I can only imagine what my what next is. Woo, mm -hmm. I just got a chill saying yes. that again to myself. Yes. <laughs> and and it, again, it was um, my pastor and just you have to be there and hear God's voice and know that it's coming from him. Because when they sat down in my exit interview after 25 years of service and said to me that your services were no longer needed, the ceremony, the message the day before was when one vehicle dries up, the next one is coming. And so with that, he said, whatever they have for you, take it all. So I took all that they had for me and I left and said, okay, God, what's next? Yes. What's next? 
And my passion has always been fashion. My mother was a dresser, my father, my brothers, my sisters. And even though I was in corporate America, they always said, here come the stylish diva. (laughs) And so with that, I would take people over to department stores and dress them and say, okay, let's do this, let's do that. So it was no surprise when the opportunity presented itself to go into business for myself. Oftentimes, you know, you have these vision gods give you these gifts and you're hesitant to use them. So um, a friend in church heard my testimony, came over to me and said, why don't you open up a boutique? And I was like, why would I do that? (laughs) There's so much going on. There's so much that I didn't know. But then I just prayed about it. I said, God, if this is for me, open the doors. If it's not, close them. Six weeks from that conversation, the doors to the boutique was open and I had a partner. Two months later, my partner was no longer interested, but I'm like, failure is not an option. And if we stepped out on faith, we have to work it and we continue to work gotcha. at it. And now I'm a sole owner and that's why the name changed to all that and more. Wow, ah, wow that's awesome. Yeah. We're going to go to you. Well, God definitely blessed me and what made me want to, um, well, there wasn't my vision, as you could tell in my bio, that I um, went to school for electrical engineering. I worked in telecommunications industry for like 15 years. Hmm. And although they paid well, I just knew that I didn't want to stay there because I figured I'm bringing them all this money in, you know, and I'm not getting anything fulfilled. And I'm going home with the headache because hmm. I'm because I worked in sales. But God right. gave me a vision when I rededicated my life back to Christ. He gave me a vision because I also did side jobs. I always had a whole bunch of jobs. <laughs> I, can <laughs> Girl, I can relate. I can relate. Done that. Yes. <laughs> so yes. I, I would go and do fashion shows. So when I rededicated my life back to Christ, he gave me a vision to do a fashion show, but do a Christian fashion show because I couldn't go to parties because when you're when you're in that industry, you have to go to many parties and it's just got too much because it wasn't what I wanted anymore. So I did a, um, I was like, I don't have any Christian t-shirt line people. I don't know. So he gave me the vision to do the fruits of the spirits. And that's where the fruits of the spirit birthed from. And at that time I was still working for, um, corporate America and I tried to open up a boutique with someone else and I found that partnership wasn't what what wasn't what was going to be good for me. I needed to just do it all on my own. And he told me to be patient. And plus, I didn't even talk to him then. So he was like, you didn't even talk to me. So you're I'm talking about say, God. I'm talking about God. You didn't talk to God. I didn't talk to God. Even I after you opened. rededicated your life. Yes. Mm-hmm. Isn't that something how like we'll do. Uh, I think it was with Joshua when God gave them the order to to go in and slay all of the the the, the pagan uh, folks in the land. Mm-hmm. And I think it was the Gibeonites. And you have to consult God in prayer. It's so important because we'll get a gut feeling and we'll be so excited about doing the work of God that we believe He's told us to do. I, I'm guilty of it too. Right. Is that you know you have to consult Him. But I also love the fact that God will work all things because you're doing it. In oh, spite yeah. of yes. your, but I, I just had to point yeah. that out. So not the hopefully you're right. off track. And he's and he told you know and I and I realized that you know I I invested all this money out of my 401k and less than a month I moved out because I was like this is not gonna work. So God told me that it wasn't His time for me because wow. I wanted to leave my job. I was gonna quit and I'm sitting in the in the room with my union steward and the person who's supposed to fire me and they tell me they're gonna reinstate my warning of of dismissal and I'm like what I'm ready to go but God <laughs> you was hoping you were like you was pushing for the door to be closed I was closed. really pushing but God said no I have something for you because at that time my dad was very sick and he ended up passing in April of last year and when I was in St. Louis they called me and they said hey um Dory we gotta let everybody know we know you're out you know they knew the circumstances we have to let everybody know we're gonna um had they had 30 positions of what they call Ezra which is a voluntary layoff and they asked me did I want to take it and I was like yeah where I sign up because I'm ready to go <laughs> so I signed up but the thing is even though I was there for eight years my seniority was very very low because they work those people work there for 20 30 years mm-hmm. and you know it's hard to find good jobs now so um on the last day when I came back or when I came back from St. Louis they gave the they gave the list and I was number thirty five so they added five more um, people to leave and they gave me a severance package and I used mm-hmm. that to open up the Anointed Diva Boutique. Wow! Cafe. You know, 
Congratulations to both of you. You know what I want to say about that? And I hope people are, are, are getting and understanding. And what what's really interesting with you two um, is a lot of people, when things like that happen, if they lose a job or they're laid off, the question they always ask is, what am I going to do? They are having this despair. Mm-hmm. And what you guys didn't do is like you guys were like, OK, you looked at it as opportunity. Right. And uh, I have a friend of mine who recently was was laid off of his job and he was telling people about it. And he's an excellent singer and, you know, he has a you know family and kids and everything. And so when he was telling people that he was laid off, they were telling him congratulations right. because now because before he wouldn't take certain jobs or, or singing jobs because it required him to leave or he couldn't leave his job and he couldn't do it. And now that he's gone. He's like getting calls left and right because he's an excellent singer and come on. And it's just a matter of when you have this blank, like you said, a canvas. Mm -hmm. And that's really what happens when you get when something closes or is shut off and you and you look in front of you and you see darkness physically. But here is like I can. It's just like being an interior decorator like me. I can't if I walk into a a, a white room Mm -hmm. and it's empty and people say, what do you see? I say a white room. That's all (laughs) I see because I don't have that. Vision to see that kind of thing. But other people can walk in. That's an interior designer have that gift. They'll walk in and see, well, I see paintings over here and I can see this kind of couch. Yeah. Thing. And that's what you guys have done. Yeah. You already had that vision and then you just walked into it. And and the key to it as well is you're exercising your faith, yeah. which is what a lot of people won't do. And they have to understand that's what faith is. It's just you. you you're the one that you're going to put it together. I mean, God, of course, gives you the ability and you praise him and you think, but he yeah. gives it to you. And then you have to execute it. Yeah. And as you're executing it, then God will do what he has to do to see it because that's the vision that was put in you. So congratulations to both of you. I think it's Thank inspiring you. to me, really. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Amen. And I, <clears throat> one of the things that when you say exercising your faith, it's such an action verb because a lot of it, well, no, it, it begins from a, your, within your mind, you know, as a man thinketh. So if you're sitting there sulking and woe is you, yeah, woe is you because you is woe, you know. But right. And I think that, you know, it, people try to a lot of times try to equate um, your mindset with this great level of maturity in Christ spending all these years with the Lord and you finally got that rock solid faith. The Lord says if you have faith of a mustard seed. He even has a provision in the Bible where a, a guy just said, could you help me with my unbelief? I don't believe that I can do this. Mm-hmm. I think I, I think oftentimes we look as as our job as uh, job gyra as opposed to Jehovah gyra, right. you know, and 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 really. Being honest with God that if you are struggling with believing that he can, you know, make lemonade with the lemons that have been dealt to your life, just to be honest with him and ask him to strengthen you through his word. That's why you have that 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 operating manual. So you need to dig into it and delve into it. And I want to ask each of you ladies, how important is your personal journey uh, coming into the season of where God gifted you with this business? Has that been in subsequent you know, walking in success, like really in being in relationship and in partnership with God through, you know, committed time, personal time with him. Well, for me, we um, have the prayer wall at our stores. So we pray over it every morning. So what I what I make it a um, make it a part of our procedures of the morning for everyone is to do a um, prayer around the wall. So that's some of our personal time we have with God. But it it also makes me get a spiritual um, leader because, you know, because I have to represent God. I have to know. You mean somebody you have a mentor that you, okay, gotcha, like a company, gotcha. Right. So I had to, I was like, okay, who could be my spiritual leader? And then I asked my, one of my pastors, um, Pastor Nicole, and she said she would be honored to because I know I have to stay filled with God because people are throwing stuff at me every day. I mean, you get people walking in off the streets. The other day I had somebody ask me to recommend them to a, um, what do you call those homes where they go to for drugs? And I've never had to deal rehab with them. Rehab facility? Yes. Rehab facility. Or the, the, um, the shelter. Shelter. Oh, okay. And I never had to deal with that, but that kind of opened up my mind. Okay. Well, I have to have those resources as well in case they come because they come out of nowhere. And I, I like that you said spiritual mentor. I mean, you always it's always wise in business to to get a mentor who is who you aspire and esteem in business to be where they are if not you know like Tyler Perry has Oprah as a mentor mm-hmm. you know but 
that is, you know, I, I never, and you know, and I've been saved for quite a long time, even thought of it until you just said it. Yeah, we need a spirit. Now I have people that are in my life that speak in my life spiritually, but when I think about it, like they are my spiritual mentors. And so definitely that's going to be my takeaway in, in, in addition to just being encouraged and inspired by you guys story today for me, I know you guys have your own thing. You can use that too, if it helps you, right. but I, I, I applaud you for that. And now you, well, Miss Candance. Yes, thank you. In opening up the boutique, like I said, I gave my testimony at church and my pastor, Ron Taylor, who's over at Arise Christian Center here mm -hmm. in Westchester, he's been very active. I mean, he's come out, he's blessed the store. He has come when I couldn't meet with him because I was the only one in the store. He's taken meetings with me there in the store. Um, there's been so many clients that have come through that um, I've just had an opportunity to, and they're like, you have to be a Christian, where do you worship? And being in corporate America where you really couldn't speak about religion and things of that nature, I had to really say, this is what God has given you and you could speak on it, you could give him all the glory and the praise. And I have to find myself just shaking from that structure that I was in for 25 years to say, you can give God credit for all that he has done and no one's going to take you down to the HR department for speaking I know that's him. right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm the boss of the right. here. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And very similar to your experience, people come in and they're just looking for something and they're really looking for God. And right. it's just so nice to be able to open the doors and tell them that you can go and worship. I had a client who came in who had been taking her service live and wanted a place to fellowship. And she came to Arise Christian Center and she joined the church this morning. So it's just an awesome um, place to be in when God blesses you with something and you can give him all the glory, but you still have to work at it. It is hard work <laughs> in what we do. And I have so many friends that are Christians that I've linked myself up with that have come and prayed when I was at a point of saying, excuse me, God, this can't be what you have for me. Because it was just a lot of things in the transition of my partnership that I was like, this can't be right. But just those friends that are positive, that are spiritually grounded, that are mature in their faith, they've come through and they've helped me to really strengthen my faith and strengthen my walk. And it's so important because the naysayers are there. Yeah, and absolutely. Yeah, I've yeah. had the pastor come back in and say, okay, there's a spirit that's present that needs to be removed. Help me walk through. And he's come out and blessed the boutique. Yay. Yes. So we're going to, uh, that's, that's a blessing. Before we go to commercial, I wanted to, uh, uh, name of your, where you fellowship and shout out time, the name of where you fellowship, and then we're going to go to commercial. And then our number here, uh, 323-247-7443. If you have any questions for any of the ladies in studio today or you just want to make a comment, please feel free to give us a shout out at that time. So what was the name of the place where you worship and your pastor? It's Arise Christian Center, and it's under Pastor Ron Taylor. Okay. And um, my church is S4C, which stands for Soldiers for Christ, and we're under the leadership of Pastor Sandy and Ben. And we're representing Culver City and Long Beach today. Yes. So we'll be right back with more Life Edition, GospelRhythms.com, Talk Live Radio on LATalkLive.com when we come right back. You're the center of my joy. All that's good and perfect comes from you are you ready to enjoy the maui lifestyle you can have it all by owning real estate on the paradise island of maui dennis rush a 22-year maui resident and real estate broker brings his wealth of experience and market knowledge to add value to your Maui real estate understanding, providing a level of service as unique and exceptional as the island of Maui itself. The magical island of Maui was voted the most exclusive resort island in the world by Condé Nast Traveler. And keep in mind, Maui is only a simple nonstop flight away. Hawaii Business Magazine Top 100 Realtors awarded Dennis Rush the 2011 fourth top realtor on the island of Maui. Go to www.dennisrush.com to view all of the amazing properties currently available in the Maui MLS system. Whatever your needs or desires, Dennis Rush will provide a private consultation for any Maui properties your heart desires. You will be in good hands. Once again, go to www.dennisrush.com. That's www 
DennisRush.com. Contact Dennis today to start your Maui lifestyle now. Dennis Rush, proud sponsors of the Dawn Christie Show and LA Talk Live. Hi, this is Jean Noel Bastior, inviting you to join me for my new show, The Book Beat, Monday evenings at 6.30 p.m. I'll be talking to authors about their latest book so you can find a fantastic read. But more than that, I'll be talking to experts about how you can write your own book and get it published. So tune in on Mondays at 6.30 p.m. exclusively on latalklive.com. And remember, you can catch us on iTunes Radio R&B or watch us on Ustream TV. Reality Radio, handcrafted for your listening pleasure. This is LA Talk Live, and we are more than just talk. You're not right here by my side. I still see your smiling face, hand in hand with me in another place. Maybe it just wasn't our time to make it work right now. Yeah, yeah. Cause I'm afraid of how it would end Maybe if we just be friends oh, 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 oh. We begin the end Welcome back to GospelRhythms.com Talk Live Radio on LATalkLive.com I'm Ro Williams and I'm Rory Darvell, sitting in for the <laughs> lovely Trisha Mann Grant. Thank you, Trisha. This is our life edition, and man, I hope you haven't been here the whole time. Don't tell me you're just pulling up late. Taught it for the party, <laughs> as they would say on Bravo. I know I'm, a, I'm one of them reality show junkies. Sorry. Can dance from all that and more. Boutique located in Culver City. To my left is here. Thank you. Man, she just shared an awesome story about how it came to be amid adversity and challenges of, of life and loss, job and everything and then we have dory bailey of the anointed diva boutique in long beach representing long beach here um and uh we have uh, some of her team representing her t-shirt line fruits of the spirit there they are ladies lovely Hello, ladies. ladies can we give a woo? you guys look beautiful we have patience we have love we have praying woman we have proverbs 31 we have uh covered by his love i see uh, just but. so Covered by his blood. Okay, yes. covered by his blood. You know I need glasses, right? Yes, get your cheaters on. <laughs> Told you. I'm in denial. <laughs> and then some. And uh, so we wanted to, they, they graced our studio. So we definitely did not want to, the show to end without um, featuring some of the, uh, some of the items that you can get. And, and are you the, if um, somebody's out of the state of California, can they purchase it online? Yes, or? they can. I do have a website, um, anointeddiva.com. That's A-N-O-I-N-T-E-D-V-A at or dot com. And you can purchase all over the world. Wow, isn't All that great? Right. You can be in Zimbabwe and you can get an alignment that day. Worldwide. Put on a spirit shirt. Okay, Jess, yes, we're going to transition this back with us. And uh, thank you, ladies. But did, did we get where she can order online? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? Did we get where she can order? No, online? no, we're Did gonna, we? we're gonna, oh, okay. we're gonna head over here. Of course, I'm gonna, oh, okay. I'm gonna, right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave her, her out. Leave her. We're not okay. gonna leave her right. out, Candace. Right. Candace. Yeah. Now you're, you have, uh, I mean, your product, your is from the casual to very formal. Yeah. I saw some stuff. I'm like, ooh, this will be great at the launch party. Oh yeah, yes. oh yeah. And uh, so we want to know um, the availability of purchasing items from uh, your store, all that and more boutique. Thank you. All that and more boutique is currently online, but it's primarily things that you can preview. A lot of uh, photos are on Facebook, but it's at all that and more, all that, A L L T H A T, the letter N, boutique.com for preview. As far as ordering, I don't really have anything set up yet. Set up for ordering because, again, I do size runs. Gotcha. Things are very unique. 
um, in my consignment room, which is I call it my backstage lounge. Oh, I, I love that yes, backstage <laughs> lounge. Yes. I have any and everything from vintage to high-end designers. So you can come in and experience anything from Nine West to Gucci to Prada to Miu Miu, just a variety of designers that are back there. So it's all in the experience. So you have to physically come in. Yeah. So so if those of you that are in Zimbabwe on that one, sorry, (laughs) but we have more for you, all that than some. So you just stay tuned, stay tuned, because that's just for today, because you never know what tomorrow may bring. That's right. Mm -mm, There may be one, uh, uh, all that. You might go uh, global with, uh, with both of your stores you know and have one in various major cities around the world yay so uh we are back this is our life edition and um i want to ask each of you ladies how long has your store been in operations i opened or i got the building in july and i opened up in september september the 14th of 2011 oh okay or no Oh, Are we in 13 now? Yes. yes. 2012. We haven't even been open a year yet. Oh, okay. Yay. Good. Yes. So I've actually been in business for a little over three years. I opened as the Red Bag Boutique in 2010. And in September of last year, transitioned into all that and more boutiques. So now, are you in the same location? I'm in the same location. So wow. that's why it's three years in business in that physical, same physical location, but sole owner for a year. Okay, and I, I love that you shared like um, and uh, can to, in, to encourage all entrepreneurs and you haven't hit your one year mark. So it could definitely be encouraging to you. It's, what advice would you give to to neophytes or people trying to get in the game as, now that you, uh, you, you know, you're a veteran now? Well, yes. I again, as you had mentioned earlier, it's again to stay prayed up mm-hmm. because going into business for yourself, there are things that you know. But there's going to be a lot that you do not know. Mm -hmm. And don't hesitate to say, I don't know and I need help because God will put people in your path that will help you. And it's one of those things where I have reached out um, to the Small Business Development Center. I have a mentor there. I have a business coach. I have women that are in business. I want to just shout out Natalie Goucher because she's a social media marketer, which is how we met. Yeah, exactly. And just center yourself around people that are doing what it is that you want to do Mm. and ask them for help. And again, when you're asking for help, also be willing to help because a lot of times we come in and you don't want to focus in on what your needs are. You have to really understand how can you be a blessing to someone else because God has blessed me with this business to bless others. So in my boutique, it's a launch platform for new designers. Most of the designers that I work with are new designers. They come in, we do trunk shows. Everything that I'm wearing today is actually from my boutique and a lot of it is from the new designers that have come to me and I said, let's sit down, talk about your product. We've done trunk shows to see what my customer response has been. But you have to network. That is what's kept my doors open is being willing to network with. I have an OBGYN that comes in that talks to women about balancing your hormones, the importance of the proper levels of testosterone as women. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And also, um, I've been working with Manly Hands. They come in and they do foot, neck and shoulder massages. So I was going to talk to you about that because I I knew that you did some interesting things with your store, having the stage and performing. And then one of the shots that we have, I'm like, people getting their foot massage. I'm like, hold up. They weren't doing that when I was in the back room. What's that going on? Can you tell us a little bit about what that experience that you uh, have going on there? It's so important to network and being open. When people come and present something to you, you have to can't, you can't be too. Not in my store. Right. You know, it's like, tell me more about it when someone comes. So I had Talita Long, who's Nia Long's mother, came in and said, you need to partner with these young men. They're positive, just like you. And I said, tell me more about it. She says they do foot, neck and shoulder massages and of course I'm saying how does that tie into fashion Mm -hmm. but I said okay you know I reached out to them we actually set up we called it a pamper and fashion party where you can come in get styled and be pampered from head to toe so while the women are shopping the men are there it's three brothers they're amazing um yes they were I wasn't there but the pictures speak for themselves 
Mm. They are, and they're typically there at least once a month doing foot, neck, and shoulder massages while the women shop. We serve food, we serve appetizers, and they're getting pampered, and I'm doing styling in the front. So it's just a great networking um, opportunity. And the same thing with Dr. Gail Jackson, women come in and the name itself speaks volume again it's all that and more and it's an experience so just this past thursday we had dr gail jackson come out and talk about hormone balancing because a lot of my clients come in they're fanning they're sweating you know we're trying to get them comfortable to try things on but their hormones are out of place. Wow. So she comes and that's in. being attentive to your customer yes. as opposed to, once again, not going in with the, I want you guys to buy something. And right. one of the things that I get from both of you sharing as well is, you know, look for and God is the author of creativity. So if you don't think you got an idea, ask the Holy Spirit to quiet you from what you want to do and either open your ears or your heart or your mind. Like you heard Neil Long's mom's, you know, gift you a, a concept that you yes. didn't just black out. And then in the end, you have exceeded not only the customer's expectations, but you'll take your whole branding of your business to the next level. I mean, the speak on it right, right. there. I love the whole poetry and, and the it's just I'm yeah. all about the, the word. So and 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 that right there. And then I see that you do it regularly. So yes. it's something that that your customers until you shift into a different season, they have, they know they can look forward to right. and, and the quality of service and, and the consistency of that that you offer with that. Right. And as I mentioned, it's all about sharing because manly hands, they bring their clients to me. They have a following. Wow. I have a following. The, Dr. Gail Jackson, she has a following. So we're constantly sharing our network. And it's That's again, being a blessing to each other because it can't just be about you. Yeah. It has to be about everyone. And my clients really appreciate it because again, it's not just about clothing. I've had financial advisors come out and speak to women about the importance, whether you're married or single. As women, we need to know about our finances. We need to know about what insurances we need to have in place and they've helped them put budgets together so it's it's all that and more <laughs> i love how you brand that <laughs> so eloquently Thank i'm not you. mad at you and all because you all that and, and more, more. <laughs> <laughs> amen well again it's three two three two four seven seven four four three we are latalklive.com if you have any questions for the ladies if you're out there you're aspiring to or want to get into business or you have a question about business or maybe you're at, a, at an impasse that sounds familiar to where one of these ladies were and you're like ready to give up uh, and it doesn't necessarily have to be that maybe you just need an encouraging word about something else and totally not industry related i mean that's what we're here to do and i love what has been said time time again throughout this message and in, in, in various you know whether it was with natalie Grouchet and, and other business mentors one of the things and in the word of god you know we came here to serve you know and i when we when you get out the bed with the agenda of me myself and i give me give me what i'm gonna get you know, you do yourself and your life and your mission and your purpose a disservice because it really isn't about that. You'd be surprised. You get a bit. You 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 be about the your father's business. He will take care of yours. I don't know yeah, what you think. Am. Oh yeah, he de definitely. When you serve God and when you do His will, He definitely will continue to bless you, even when you're when you don't deserve it. And that's when the grace and mercy comes in to play because where I should have been, I'm not. And I thank God. So what would you what advice would you have to any of our viewers, whether they're watching the rebroadcast or they're listening live right now, who is at that place where they don't think they can make it or want to give up or at a place where, you know, they just in a quandary? Well, I can definitely relate to being in that place. And when I took um, when I told myself when everything else was just down and I couldn't take it anymore, I just said, you know, what, I'm going to give God a try. You know, because this is not working. So let me just try him. Everybody's telling me how good this man is and what he can do. And once I did take, um, took, um, stepped out on faith just a little bit, he just opened up the door for me. So I just say, if you could step out on faith, you know, everything, anything is possible. And could you tell us, paint a picture of what that looks like? Amen. That's right. We got to give it up. It looks like. Does it look like you talking to him, just praying or you reading so that somebody that may not be all understand like what, like I hear you, but what do I have to physically do? Uh, is this, do I just say it and he will answer? Well, you have to, you have to, you have to just let yourself go and, and, and not lean to your understanding. Like he okay. says in the Bible, it's aware you just have to say, you know what? I give up. And I'm going to let somebody else lead. So instead of because a lot of times 
being an entrepreneur you're always a leader you're a leader so you have to say you know what I'm not going to be the leader and I'm going to let him lead me so in in prayer because the more you pray the more you get understanding because you ask God for understanding and knowledge and he'll give you the understanding that you need to just fall back so my fruits of the spirit t-shirts are are because of gentleness love um peace kindness and and that's one of the main reasons that I did or he gave me the vision is because that's the way we want to work, work walk in Christ. Amen. So if we can have a little bit of more faithfulness in God, then he'll go ahead and separate you from everybody else and make you your own individual. Amen. That's right. You have to walk it out. It's an action verb. I can't stress that enough. People think that it's going to happen because of osmosis. You get on your knees. That's where the bowels are fighting one. But when you get off those knees, you get out there and you get about the business of walking on faith meaning you actually are taking action without taking action you get no results I cannot emphasize that enough you can pray 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 but if you're not doing anything faith without works is what Dead. Dead. that's right that's what I'm talking Dead. about get out there and HYB handle your business for the Lord don't get me started I'm gonna pick up a collection up in here no just kidding <laughs> I love the Lord Go ahead. yes I just wanted to add you know when you said what does that look like when you own your own business you're responsible for everything and God says be anxious for nothing but when the bills are due and there's nothing in the account, you get anxious, mm-hmm. you know, yep. and Keep it real. yes, you do. And there have been days or, you know, initially it was just we stepped out in a recession. God doesn't know anything about a recession, No, He doesn't. but we see it. You know, they're like, why are you doing this? People aren't shopping and, you know, things of that nature. But there was a time when I said, you know what, if we can pay the rent, that's that's good enough. We just need to pay the rent, and keep the doors open. But that wasn't enough. Right. You know, God says, if you're going, if I'm going to bless you with something, he's a God of abundance. Exactly. And I wasn't believing for more than just the rent. And that's all I was believing for. And that's all I got. But when I said, wait a minute, my father is rich mm-hmm. and I could have the rent. I could have payroll. I could have marketing and all of those things. It's definitely going to require some work. And I start putting things up on the board and say, God, I'm not going to worry about this because I know you got this. And just recently, there was a situation where there were so many invoices that were due and it was they came due on a Monday. And it's like Monday business is slow. I'm only open for four hours. But I said, Father, you got this. And I just got up and went to work. And the blessings that came in that day were nothing but from God. You probably was there longer than four hours. Oh, no, I was there four hours. Just for four but hours? he did it in less than two. Ooh, look and at I just God. I checked it off and said, hey, that's my father. Ah, he got this. just love God. Yes. <laughs> yes. Amen. Well, I mean, it's been a great show. This is our life edition, man. I, I, I thank you, ladies, so much. Yes. Again, we don't want to uh, uh, leave without you giving uh, your contact information as well. I know we gave it earlier in the show, but... You know, if anyone was a little tardy to the show, we want to make sure they get it again because, again, we need to get out there and support one another in our in our dreams. And and you know what? You you may have an event, whether it's spoken word, you may want to put on, um, whether it's ministry. Um, for your ministry or for the community, then you may want to reach out to either of these ladies uh, yes. to talk about that. You may uh, want to uh, do an event that, that caters to uh, a spa kind of concept. You may want to reach out to either of these ladies for, for something like that. I'm sure that just being here and networking, you ladies will cross pollinate and, and, yes. and have learned and, and do an exchange because again, we're here to support each other. The Bible says a threefold cord is not easily broken. And oftentimes in the body of Christ, when it says, you know, God supplies all all of our needs we 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 forget the component of us in the god equation because that's what we're here to support each other and to to be a blessing to one another and uh, to encourage each other so um once again how can people uh get in touch with um with your store that's located in culver city and it, it, the name and all the, the yes. social networking information Again, my uh, the name of my boutique is All That and More Boutique. I'm located on Jefferson, between Jefferson and Overland. The address is 10754 Jefferson Boulevard in Culver City. You can go on to Facebook. It's www.facebook.com. All That, the letter N, Boutique, and more. You can go on to Instagram. It's hashtag, or Twitter. It's uh, hashtag ATM Boutique. And follow me on Twitter. But I would just love to see your 
your face in my boutique because again I love to paint would love to style you from head to toe if you have events book club meetings anything where you'd like to get a group of women together and you don't want to use your home for whatever reason give me a call I'm sure we can make it happen ATM I love that great e yes. easy to remember Woo! Yes. we all know about that yay <laughs> all that more boutique in the house and I am Dorian. The um, boutique name is the Anointed Diva Boutique. And Diva is actually stands for Divine, Virtuous, and Anointed. Just to let everyone know, we're located at 801 East Artesia in Long Beach, California. The website is A-O-N-I-N-T-E-D-V.com. That's AnointedDiva.com. We're also on Facebook and Instagram. Yay! All right. Thank you so much. This has been our life edition. Once again, we are going to close out just saying uh, that we honor all the servicemen who served uh, our country so valiantly throughout the years. Veterans Day, Memorial Day weekend. Take a moment eating the barbecue and taking having a day off to just be thankful and grateful and, and to send up a prayer, you know. Again, thank you ladies so much for coming in and I can't wait to hit y'all store. Yay! Thank you for having Lori. us. Yes. Thank you for allowing me to sit in. As always. Ro and, and Trisha. With your perfect skin. Mm -hmm. Does it taste like, <laughs> does it taste like chocolate? Because it sure looks like chocolate. <laughs> With your perfect skin. Look at the time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You have some shows to do. So on that note, Ness, take us home. We'll see you next week uh, with Pastor Don. Turner Connor, the word edition. Why am I still single? S I N capital G L E. Y'all, that's going to be a show. You won't want to miss it. We're going to have that Kenny Lattimore in the house and some other special guests. The author of the book, Why Am I Still Single, will be here as well. We'll see you next week. Gospelbrothers.com, Talk Live Radio bye on bye. LA Talk Live.com. When you fall down and you call out, but no one shows up. When I'm searching for peace, I found the world that some sunshine, but the rain it pours, and I don't know where I'm going, it's like I'm led astray, am I really even worth it, or just a mistake, all my hopes and wishes, I threw them all away, guess I never
to the point where I love myself, encouraging you all to speak your dreams into existence. You don't have to be sleep to have a dream. With our faith, we can dream with our eyes open, because we can never have too much faith. tuned into LA Talk Live. We're more than just talk. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned.